So you set the clocks for a Pacific time to open, and it's not going to open until every one of those clocks run out of time. Weekends longer, and this was this was the situation. Well, it was a Friday night. Kathy and I were married, and uh, it was very cold. A car. St we didn't have a garage. We lived with, actually lived with her grandpa, and uh, I locked the vault, and I drove to Rubicon to warm the car up. Drove by the bank here, and I thought, I think I put too much time on those clocks. I don't know why I thought that. And I went home, and I was just a basket case. And I said to Kathy, I, I don't think that vault door is going to open Monday morning. I don't know for sure, but so the, uh, the next morning I called Dennis Carroll. I'm thinking he was the president then. And I told him this, I, he didn't, he was doing something else. So I, I couldn't, I couldn't get a hold of him. So I went up, I just pacing, I came down here, paced by the door and just wondering, well, what did I do? I, something told me that I put too much time on. So I went up to his house, he was playing racquetball and I sat there waiting for him. And he came home and he, he opened the door and he looked at me and he says, Foggy, he says, you're as white as a ghost. Did somebody die? I said, well, it might be me. <laughs> and uh, I told him the story, and not the story, the situation. And he says, oh, don't worry, it'll all work out. And I said, well, easy for him to say, a bank without money, how are we going to operate on Monday morning? So I ended up, uh, uh, back then we were open Saturday mornings. But the vault door wasn't open. We had another place to put uh, cash for tellers that are working Saturday morning. So I came down and I called the, the, uh, one of the other banks and they said, oh, that happens to us all the time. You've got to be kidding me. So they will, you bring out a cashier's check Monday morning and we'll get you some cash. And so Monday morning uh, came, it didn't open. And, uh, but we had money from the night depository. It, it all kind of worked out, but, and every hour I would check, you know, combination wouldn't open. And uh, later on in the day, uh, nobody really asked why the door wasn't open or wanted to get in their lockbox. So uh, this lady came in, which happened to be my mother, and she said to me, uh, I need to go in my lockbox, and, uh, but the door isn't open. I said, yeah, well, your, your son made a big mistake and we can't get the door open. We don't know when it's going to open. Um, so it was no big deal, but what if some big situation that a person had to get in there? It would have been a touchy situation. So anyway, at 4 o'clock, during the course of 4 o'clock, I got the, the door open. And what a relief that was.